In this episode of I Don't Work Your Lady, we are reading 7 Karen stories. I don't work your lady in real life. You used to work here. Women think I work at Walmart because I am wearing a Dragon Ball Super shirt. Entitled girl at laundromart. And finally, even crazier lady screams at crazy lady. If this is your first time, my name is Spicy and I cover the craziest and the funniest retail stories. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the like button and subscribe. For more I don't work your lady videos, check out the playlist in the description. Congratulations Marty for the comment of the day. You inspire me to delete this channel because I can't pronounce properly in English. Now let's find some more Karens. Brrra! Even crazier lady screams at crazy lady. Now for the cast, the crazy lady is C, me I am M and crazy savior is W. I am wandering around my local Tesco at about 11.30 pm after a hard day's work. I have headphones on and I am trying to work out what I am going to cook when I get home as my brain's a little fried from the mind numbing tedium of wielding all day. I love the job but I've been stuck making nearly 4000 of the same item. As I run the corner, I see a friend that works there, had the house life etc and carried on looking around for something I wanted to eat. I am in the chiller section looking with a blank expression on my face at steaks when I'm slapped around the back of the head. Thinking it was my friend, I turn and say, what the f was, why is the fish shaking? Action close? No idea, it's not like I work here. Don't lie, I saw you talking to a staff a member ago. I wanted some fish to go do your job. Sorry, but I don't work here, so I can't help you. Before I could add anything, the crazy lady cuts me off with Just shut up and go do your job. I don't pay your wages for you to stand around doing nothing. Look, I'm not even in a uniform. I have grease all over my hands and my face is nearly black. Do I look like I work at this crap hole? It was at this point a small lady in her early 40s walks down the aisle straight towards us and stops, looks me and crazy lady up and down. The savior turns to the crazy lady and says, Hi lady, can you tell me where the bread is? I don't work here. And the savior screams this at the top of her voice. That's exactly what he said to you. Now F off. But he works here. No, he works with me and I am waiting for him because you won't leave him alone. So let him do his shopping and now get away from us. I'm going to get in the sack. Where's your manager? Probably at home with his wife. The crazy lady then storms off towards the front of the store looking for a manager shouting about finding a manager and how I'm going to be fired soon. Me and the savior walk around the store finishing a shopping and as we get to the checkout we hear a crazy lady voice shout that's them over there. She stood with what I could think could have been a manager or a random person she thinks is a manager. We walk towards them and the savior shout is he actually a manager or you just picked up a random dude to play the manager. The person with her doesn't say a word as we walk out and to our cars. I thank the lady and we parted ways. The next day I am at work telling the boys about what happened when I hear the savior say if she'd given any more lip I'd have slapped that effing crap out of her. Yeah, I didn't know she worked at the same place as me but she was in the office and was above my manager. I personally thought she was joking in Tesco's when she claimed we worked together. I'd only been with the company about 6 months so did not really know everyone in the office as I had very few dealings with them being as I was fairly new. It still makes me laugh to this day that the world's a small place. Edit. Being only 16 at the time, I was not driving the car I went to. The car was being driven by my father who worked at the same place and still does. Also, the savior is now my mother-in-law. Now that's a fun and interesting plot twist. The savior ended up working at the same location as OP and then she becomes her mother-in-law. What? Man, that's weird, but he must be a teenager or a young adult. But anyway, this Karen was weird, man. I bet she was so confused when she was asked if she worked there. She was experiencing what it feels like to be confused as an employee. Poor him though, he seems stuck in that situation. But what a chance that woman uh, was able to save him. Because he would have been stuck with this woman for some time, I believe. I give her a level 50 Karen. Semi crazy, semi stupid. It could have been worse, really. Maybe if the savior wasn't there, it could have escalated to worse, to violence or cops being called. I don't know. We can never tell with Karens. What level would you give to this Karen? Let me know in the comments and I will reply to you.
I don't work here lady in real life. So I just had my very own I don't work here lady experience in real life. I dropped into the supermarket for a couple of essentials and as I entered, my daughter rang me. Now, this supermarket is on the ground floor of a shopping complex, so if you venture more than a few meters in, you have zero mobile reception. I was standing near the entrance, holding a basket, one earpiece in, and talking. Note, I am wearing a navy blue Oxford Uni polo shirt in Australia, and the staff of this supermarket chain wear bright red polo shirt. So as I am standing there and this lady stands in front of me, looking annoyed that I am on my phone and I'm ignoring her, cause I don't know if she is and I don't care. She huffs, then steps forward into my personal space and says something. I did not hear cause I'm not paying attention to her and I'm on the phone. So I take out my earpiece and say, sorry? She huffs again and hesitates. Then a light seems to go on in her head. But she still asks, Do you work here? I said, No, I don't. And smiled and she huffed again and walked away. My daughter was laughing when I put my earpiece back in and said to her that now I have my very own I don't work here lady story for this subreddit. You used to work here. The story that was on top when I posted this reminded me of a similar experience I had. A wholesome story, mostly. I work for a fast food restaurant that names Ant in In The Box in high school. I ended up being there for 5 years before I finished my degree and moved on. I left in 2003. I moved to a different state a few years later so I was not back for a while. In 2015, I came home to visit family and I happened to wander into my old place of employment. I walk towards the counter. The customer at the register in front of me finishes their order and turns around to go get their drink. They see me and stop dead in their tracks. Every hair on my neck stands up. Hey, I know you. Me inside. Oh crap, oh crap, what the F? Me outside. Sorry, I have a terrible memory. You worked here. Yeah? Not sure yet if this is good or not. Customer offers his hand. Nice to see you. You were the only one who ever got my order right. Me relief, he's not angry at me. Thanks, I always tried my best. The customer, in full hearing range of the employee that rang him up. These guys they have now suck. You should come back. Sorry dude, I live in a different state now. Impressed you still remember me and glad I did good work. Take it easy. Then I went up to the counter. Apologized to the phone counter employee who appeared to take it with good humor and got my food. Women think I work at Walmarts because I am wearing a Dragon Ball Super shirt. This happened a couple of days ago and it was one of the weirdest thing that happened to me. I was at McDonald's getting a chicken sandwich after school. I was in no way in any resemblance to an employee at all. I was in a Dragon Ball shirt and black jeans. As I am leaving with my bag on my back, a woman starts yelling about an employee leaving early. Then the voice gets closer till I feel a sharp tap on my shoulder. I turn around and look confused as I don't know this woman. She tells me to get back behind the counter and I tell her, Lady, I don't work here. She freaking lost it. She screamed in my face that I would be fired if I don't get back to work and take her order. I attempted to walk out the door, but I was grabbed by my bag and dragged by this dummy to the door to the registers. I just told an employee to get the manager and he was confused as to why a random child in high school was there. He went to get the manager. While this crazy girl is snapping in my face to look at her, me being me, I threw a cup at her. She went ballistic. She screamed at the top of her lungs to get the manager and fire this weed. I just have the most uncanny valley face on just staring at this moron. The manager walks out to ask the problem, looks at me, and tells me that the area I was in was employees only. And the demon tells him I am an employee. He tells her, no, and I left and got a free shake. Entitled girl at laundromat. Today, I was at the laundromat waiting for my laundry to dry as a woman in her 50s entered with a duvet. She filled a washing machine while I minded my own business. When she wanted to pay, she discovered she didn't have enough of the right coins, the 20 cents and the $1. She tried changing some in the change machine, but it did not work. She then asked me if I could change. EB stands for the entitled girl. I'm sorry, I don't have any change with me. Are you serious? I can't do laundry if you won't change my money. She said this with an aggressive tone to her words, 
blaming me she did not have the right change. I really can't. I only carry the change I need to do my laundry. That's BS. Who does that? You just don't want to help me. I am not responsible for other laundry than my own. It is not my fault you came here unprepared. I am not an idiot for bringing my entire handbag to the laundromat 200 meters from where I live. She left and returned with new change. After minutes of cursing and hitting at the washing machine, she left to soak in her car. Hey, did you like this adult worker lady video? If you did, check out my playlist right here. I bet you will love it. These videos take me a lot of effort and time to make. So if you can show me some support by liking the video and subscribing, this will mean the world to me. Also hit the bell button to know when we post a new video and join the notification gang. Thank you again for watching episode 62 of I Don't Work Here Lady. See ya!